Like, I don't even know how to attack this. <sighs> good morning. Well, technically good afternoon. It is 3.25 in the afternoon. I just left my doctor's office and I'm fuming. My appointment was 11.30 in the morning. I got there at 11 so I could do some physical therapy first. Sat down at 11.30 and didn't see the doctor till like 2.45, almost three o'clock. It's like, dang, bro. So long, just ate up my, my day. But whatever, I just had to vent that, man. You know, I might use this to vent a little as well. Forgive me for venting if you don't like it. Have, you know, I'm sorry. But now I'm gonna take the time because my physical therapy is not too far from a place. I think it's a junkyard or something where we're gonna go pick up the dashboard for the Honda Accord. So uh, I'm on the way there. They have a black one and I need a black one. So I have a question for you guys. I wanna know what you guys think and uh, I'd appreciate your comments or suggestions. So. I have a car, a personal car, that I want to give away, but it's a BMW. Some of you might know that BMWs are a bit of a headache. They're, you know, nice looking cars and they do last long, but they are somewhat of a headache. I was thinking about giving, a, giving my car away, right? My personal car. And to somebody who I think can use the car, deserves it. But then I started thinking, what if I just sell the car and buy a more, I would say, reliable car, like a Honda Accord or Honda CRV, like a car that is uh, not crazy on gas, a car that, um, you know, is not much of a headache. Like BMWs are nice, but they cost a good amount of money and they're a bit of a headache. But they look nice though, you are pimping in a BMW. So I just wanna ask you guys, the viewers, what do you think? Do you think uh, selling the BMW and buying a Honda a good idea or just give the BMW away as a gift to somebody. Either way, some, they're gonna get a car. So let me know, comment down below. Uh, and uh, I think I'm gonna try to make the decision according to what you guys tell me, all right? So yeah. Woo. 20 minutes later. So we didn't walk out with a dashboard, or we have a receipt for a dashboard. Um, they're gonna take it out of a car. I gotta come back in a day or two to pick it up. But we got a dashboard for a great price, minus shipping and handling. If you ever need a car part that you cannot really find and you wanna you know, buy something used, there's a website that you can go and you can just put in the year, the model, whatever it is in the car, and they'll show you the junkyards that carry the part, you know, closest to you once you put your zip code. But we didn't get the dashboard, like I said, but we bought it, we did buy it. We didn't get it, like physically, I don't have it, I gotta come back. But we did pay for it. Uh, we're gonna come back and get it and we're gonna take care of that dashboard. Um, still waiting on the seat belts and still waiting on parts to come to finish the car. But yeah, I just wanna keep you guys updated and I'll check you guys in a bit. Hi, how you doing? So today we are gonna finish this beautiful car. We have to do the dashboard. We gotta put in the seat belts and we gotta put in the SRS module. Also, if you guys been following me before in the one of the previous videos, we ended up getting two visors for the same side. So I reached out to the seller on eBay and he had no issue in just sending me the right one. He didn't even want the other one back. So that was great. That worked out well. Also, in the last video, if you guys don't remember, I had an issue with my mic and it fell off my shirt and then it just reappeared in the front of my building. I don't know how. So I found a new place for my mic. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's in my beard. <laughs> what better, uh, you know, you can hear me great from right here. Also, I don't think it's gonna fall off. It's gonna bump into anything, but I might keep it on my beard for a little while and it kind of blends in. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we're gonna tackle this. We also gonna do the valve cover gasket and I'm gonna change the PCV valve. I think that's what it is, PCV valve. And uh, yeah, and that's gonna finish up and wrap up this car so we can give it back to the owner. I'm sure she misses her car, but also I don't have my coffee. So I'm gonna go take a little trip to Dunkin' Donuts Get me a little coffee, a little energy. It's a little hot. I need something cool and energizing, you know? So I'm gonna go get my coffee. I'll be right back and uh, we could get down to business. Okay. 
20 minutes later. So, first thing you want to do when dealing with any airbags is remove the negative terminal. When you're dealing with any, you know, you want to disconnect the battery or remove the negative terminal from the battery and let it rock. That way the car's off. Because when you're dealing with airbags, you don't want one blowing up in your face. Yeah, I know, I know. You see it now. But yeah, so disconnect the negative battery. And then now we're going to go start taking the dashboard apart. So this is going to be a little bit of a, I guess, a DIY. I went online and I was looking for a way to take off the dashboard on this car. And I didn't find any videos. I found one in Russian. I don't understand Russian, so I'm going to do one myself. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm going to try to walk you through every screw that got to be taken off. And the da other dashboards in my car over. So let's get to it. And uh, yeah. Something that's cool about when I ordered this dashboard, they gave me a bunch of pieces that come with the dashboard that I already had. I had broken something earlier, but now I got an extra one to replace it. Wow! Okay. Hi guys, my battery died. Well, both my phones died, so I had to pause. But we put the dashboard in. Now we're gonna tackle this airbag, and I think I got the tool to get the thing out. Oh. <laughs> this has been here since the owners had the car. Now it's gone, because why? Hopefully, we plug everything back in. It doesn't blow up in our face. <laughs> that would suck. What's up, everybody? We're gonna do the seatbelts now, and uh, let's try to get this thing. In. So, still there. Everything is plugged in. And now is gonna be the first time that I plug in the battery. Let's see what happens. If anything explodes, I did something wrong and we're gonna have to do it all over again. That'll be great. But take a little sip of water. Mr. Sun came back out and uh, he's not being nice to me. Good old H2O. All right, so everybody, hold on.
nothing blew up nothing blew up all right we're back on tight now let's go inside and turn the key and see if something blows so here's the moment of truth I don't want to be in the way of the airbag because if something blows I ain't gonna be happy all right Horn works. They see blows cold. Uh, yeah, but let's finish this seatbelt real quick. Oh man, my ankle really does hurt. So I don't know what's going on with my ankle. All right. AC works. Radio, cluster, everything's up. We're good. Everything works. Works, 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 works. So, let's try this again. The last time it was so much fun. Like, I don't even know how to attack this. Oh. So guys, I'm done with the car. I went on a whole rant just now and realized that the camera was off. Nice, amazing. So what I was ranting about was that I'm done. So with the interior of the car, dashboard is done. Driver's side airbag, done. That extra visor, done. Seat belts, done. SRS module, done. The majority is done. Everything, literally, the only thing I left is the valve cover gasket and the PCV valve that I got. But um, yeah, the majority, everything is done. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to change the valve cover gasket, the spark plugs, and the PCV valve. So if you haven't been following along, go back and check out a few of my old videos. This car belongs to my sister-in-law, and she has no idea of what I'm doing to the car. I took the car and I told her, hey, I'm going to get it looked at, but she doesn't know what I was going to do. I was going to get it looked at and get everything fixed. So what we did is that we took the car first to a friend of mine, at Who's Poppy's Tire in uh, Woodside, and we had the car fully checked. They found that three of the four tires were bad, so we put four brand new tires on the car. We found that one of the axle, axle boots was leaking, so we changed the passenger side axle. We noticed that one of the motor mount bolts was the wrong one, so we switched that, and mechanically, that is all that the car had with issues mechanically. What else the car had itself was the driver's side airbag, the passenger side airbag were blown. The seat belts, both sides were locked and the SRS module needed to be reset. The car was involved in an accident, but they never repaired the issue with the airbags and the seat belt. So I took them, packed them up. I sent them out to safety restore. I got the seat belts rebuilt. I got the SRS module reset it. And then I swapped the airbags. The driver's side airbag wasn't that hard because all you got to do is take the airbag out of the steering wheel and switch that. The passenger side though was a bit of an issue because we had to take the whole dashboard out to change that airbag. But I did it. If you go back and check out the video, that was the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. But we did it. And so now we're here. Also, I changed the hood of the car because the car had a wrong year hood on it. So that was changed. So that's oh. Also, I detailed the car inside. I myself, if you want to go back, I have a video out where I take the seats out and scrub the living daylights of the inside of the car, shampoo the carpets, and wipe down the whole interior, give it a good armor all shine so the car smells delicious inside. Delicious inside. Delicious inside. But yeah, that's what's been done to the car so far. So that's what we're going to get to today. We're going to do the valve cover gaskets, spark plugs, and the PCV valve. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yeah, so let's get to it.
slick without the valve cover. This gas the gasket looks a little brittle, a little tough, whatever, but uh, obviously you can see there's oil back there and they needed to be changed. They need to be cleaning. It looks like someone put like a little bit of an excessive amount of RTV. But yeah, this is it. You know, while we're in here, we're gonna change all the spark plugs. And then the PCB is right there. So, might as well just change all that. Give it a wipe down, a little brake cleaner action around. And then we're gonna get everything back together. finished this car is finally done we did the valve cover gasket we did the spark plug and we did the pcv valve everything is nice ready to go we even found some extra pieces on one of the spark plugs that we didn't want but everything is finished we're finished 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 thank you jesus this car can go back to its rightful owner now and hopefully she's happy with what we did but yeah we're done car's finished on to the next one which is right there you guys can't see it but it's right there See you on the next one. Catch you on the flip side. Yeah.